Hi friends. Um, today's yin class will focus on upper back pain. Um, I certainly carry a lot of tension in my upper back and neck. So anyway, just hoping that this might bring you some relief or just enjoy um, the class regardless. So start in a seat, whether that's on your shins or cross-legged. Rest your hands wherever and close your eyes. Turn inside to your breath. Let the space between your eyebrows relax, your jaw soften. Relax your shoulders. this heavy. Notice the quality of your breath. Notice how you're feeling right now in this moment. No judgment on how you're feeling or what you're feeling. Just bringing awareness to the state of our body and the quality of our breath. Good. Fold your hands together in front of your heart. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. Open your eyes. Rest your hands. Um, and then today you'll want a couple blocks for our practice. So we'll start on um, hands and knees and we'll just do a little spine undulation through cat cow. So hands under shoulders, toes tucked or untucked, hip stack over knees, inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, look forward. Exhale, round your spine, let your head hang. Inhale, just forward, gaze maybe up, lift tail, and exhale, round your spine. Three more rounds on your own. Let your breath lead your movement. Good, and then come back to your neutral spine. And keeping your hips stacked over your knees. Inhale, lift your right arm up to the sky. And exhale, thread the needle. And we'll do that two more times. Inhale, lift your right arm. And then exhale, cross the arm underneath your body. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now we'll stay here. So right arm rest down. Walk your left arm forward and tent your left fingertips. Your right ear can come down, forehead, or if you want to give yourself a little height for your head, you might bring your forehead down or rest your right ear on the mat. So just a place that you can stay comfortably for the next eight rounds of breath. Close your eyes. Turn your left armpit down. Keep your left elbow lifted. And lift your tailbone up to the sky.
slide your left hand back underneath your shoulder to press yourself up. And then we'll switch sides. So you're in tabletop. Left arm reaches up, inhale. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, come back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. This one we hold <clears throat> forehead or left ear down. And then walk your right fingertips forward. Right armpit down toward your mat. <clears throat> Lift your tailbone up. And breathe. Inhale, exhale, <clears throat> slide your right hand back and press yourself up. Good. Next one is puppy pose. So two, I'll show you one variation and then, or a couple variations and you can choose which one you want. So hip stack, hips stay stacked over your knees and then walk your hands forward. You can tent your fingertips and keep your tailbone up toward the sky and bring your forehead down. Remember head can come to a block. If you want to intensify you're going to bring the blocks. I like the lowest um, setting. Hands come to blocks. You can let your fingertips slide over and then hips sit back And bring your chest down toward your mat. Tailbone still lifts. Maybe walk your hands forward a little bit more. So just make the adjustments that you need. And then the forehead comes down. And let your breath inform the stretch so that should take you deeper and let you soften down so we just want gravity to win
You might be able to take your chin down to the mat. If that doesn't feel like you're cranking on your neck. Good. Inhale, breath. Exhale, release. Good. So wherever you're at, you're just going to slide your hands back. Sit your hips back toward your heels. Roll your shoulders. All right, next pose. You're going to want a block. And it's going to rest your forehead down. or you're gonna rest your forehead on it. So you're gonna come down to your belly and take your right arm underneath your left and your left arm crosses over your right. Now, keeping your elbows in line with each other, you'll take your forehead down and then maybe walk your elbows apart from each other to deepen the stretch. Of course, some of you We'll be able to rest your forehead all the way um, onto your mat. That doesn't feel good for my neck. So I just like to rest my forehead either on a firm pillow or block or bolster. And then um, legs nice and wide so there's no compression in your low back. I'm just letting the upper back stretch. Scapula moves away from each other. Breath. Keep your pelvis heavy on the mat. slide your elbows down a little bit too and just make again any little micro movements you need Inhale breath, exhale breath. We'll move right into the other side. So you're gonna cross your right arm over your left 
And just with the, with the hands, um, do what feels better. Maybe they face up or uh, palms face down. Forehead comes back down. And then just come back to stillness. Legs wide, pelvis heavy. Head is supported. Upper back releases. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Good. And then come on up. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders and press on up. Good. Keeping your hips stacked over your knees. Take a couple rounds, cat cow. Good, one more round. Okay, so sit back to your heels. You can come to a cross-legged seat um, or on your shins. And then take your arms out like a letter T and wrap your right arm underneath your left. You can either give yourself a hug here backs of forearms together or hands or um, palms. And then inhale, reach your fingertips up. And exhale, let your elbows draw in toward your chest. Take your chin down and breathe. Press your pubic down into your mat to keep the natural alignment in your lumbar spine. And if you feel like your head is hanging, 
Bring your gaze back forward, slide the sides of your throat back to press your upper thoracic spine forward. Elbows hug in, and then chin comes down toward chest. Lift your gaze, lift your elbows, unwind, arms out like a letter T, left arm wraps under right, give yourself a hug, or forearms together, flex the hands together, or palms together. Inhale, reach fingertips up, and then slide the sides of your throat back, upper thoracic spine presses forward, so that means the head of the arm bones draw back, chin tuck, elbows hug down. Feel the space created between your shoulder blades. And breathe. Good, inhale, exhale, lift your gaze, lift your fingertips, and release. You can just roll the shoulders, good. So for our last pose before Shavasana, We'll take a supported um, fish pose. And so your first block will be coming um, horizontally along the shoulder blades or vertical between the shoulder blades. So play around with that. What's most important, I think right now, um, in terms of this class, is that we're not going for a super deep back bend. We're just going for an opening in the chest and the shoulders in the pecs so you can also so I want you to just rest your head down on a block whatever level feels good so you're going to either adjust the um, block underneath your shoulder blades to a lower or higher setting and then just make sure you have support for the back of your head so your neck's not hanging down it feels a little high and then just let the shoulders open up here and soften. Arms out nice and wide, palms face up, and then keep your feet rooted or extend your legs long, nice and wide. Make your adjustments. If the block is really bugging you or if it's too hard, you can always put a towel or a blanket overneath. 
or over top. Relax your jaw. So choose to stay here in your supported fish pose or you'll roll off to one side and then just make your way back to your back for Shavasana, legs wide, arms wide, you might find a blanket or an eye pillow. This is your time, so you get to choose. You can stay in that chest opening, maybe take leg, legs up the wall, shavasana, whatever you have time for, but I really encourage you to stay in your final resting pose for five to 20 more minutes. Let yourself have this gift. Gift of stillness, introspection. Gratitude. Let gravity take over and settle. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.